Uh, g'day. Um, I bought this 18 pound thrust water snake, which I fitted up to my Aquiac kayak um, a couple of months ago, or a month ago, I suppose. I took it for its maiden voyage up into a little lake and did a bit of trawling for trout. Just found with the the low setting, the speed was like twice as quick as what I'd trawl for trout. And um, even though I did get one fish, I just felt that the thing was going way too quick on that low setting. So I nutted around a bit and I actually found this, it's a 12 volt, 20 amp speed controller, which I picked up on eBay for I think $13 posted. Uh, it's a really good setup. It's actually got heat sinks inside it. Um, the, the unit doesn't get hot at all. And so I've just tied that in to the um, wiring. So off the battery goes into the speed controller, then into the outboard itself. Um, they're not waterproof. Or that's a, the only downside that I can see, but um, I've just got it mounted here at the moment just for trials. I'm running a 20 amp hour um, battery and I've actually even, um, I've, I've put a fuse in there, they didn't have a fuse when I bought it, I thought just for extra protection. So I've got a, a, a 30 amp fuse in line. Um, uh, did some trials with the outboard and I found on the low setting, it was doing roughly about five kilometers an hour and that was drawing 7.3 amps. And at full speed, it was drawing just over 15 amps. So with a 20 amp hour battery on the low setting, continuously you'd get, say, around three hours trawl time. You know, and shutting it down for if you catch a fish, whatever. But um, I've done some um, calculations and I found with the speed controller dropping that down to two and a half kilometers, which I find is a good speed, you're running three and a half, say so three and point seven amps current draw, which will give you six hours plus life with the 20 amp hour battery. So it, having, having that set on the low setting, it's just a matter of slowly dial it up and you can, can if you dial that all the way up that's as, as that'd be normal on the low setting flick that switch to high goes to, to high drop it back to low and then you can just dial that back to the speed that you actually like and then you can shut it off. Still in reverse as well, still works fine in reverse. Variable speed. And back to forward. So I'm gonna actually take this out now, down the, down the local river, and give it a trial, and I'll hook the GPS up and get a few figures. Well, I got me um, kayak out for the first time since I've put the speed controller on it and um, having the, the, the water snake set at its um, normal low speed was between oh, four and a half to five kilometers an hour and that's drawing 7.3 amps so since I've put this um, speed controller here on I can actually dial that back to whatever I want but I've actually got that set at around two and a half K two and a half kilometers an hour which is I find is a good trawling speed for trout redfin and um, it's drawing say three and a half to four amps so you're doubling the longevity of your battery by using the speed controller and it's just quicker slower quicker slower 
and you can turn it on you can turn that off so I know it's not waterproof but um, for uh, I think it was 12 or 13 dollars on eBay gets that motor down to the speed that you want it at because I just found with the normal high low settings on the motor even on low it was just way too quick for um, yeah, especially trout you need to slow right up so yeah seems to work fine so as you saw on that just a bit of footage there it works quite well um, yeah I'm very happy with it and for thirteen dollars on eBay um, what do you got to lose and you can get this thing a lot slower and uh, yeah a lot better for trawling anyway